Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Jirani yangu. Jirani. Sema haleluya. Haleluya. Amen. Now, now. Sharti la kwanza la kupokea anointing uandike kwa Kiingereza consecration. Sharti la kwanza andika consecration ama andika purity. Consecration or purity. Kwa Kiswahili utakatifu. Utakatifu. Ndio maana hata Petro akihubiri anasema ninyi unkama dhambi zenu ili muweze kupokea Roho Mungu. Si ndio anaosema? Repent and receive. So condition number one is purity utakatifu. Condition number one ni utakatifu. Utakatifu andika methali moja shina tatu. Utakatifu. Condition number one ni utakatifu. Condition number one ni utakatifu. Tafuteni sana utakatifu. Kama unataka kukua katika anointing tafuta sana utakatifu. Usidhani kwamba Mungu ako na anointing ya kurusha tu kwa mtu yeyote. Many people admire the anointing. Many people admire they even pray. Eh? Wakio nyumbani kwao. Baba tunaomba utupatie nguvu pastor alisema kanisani ili na sisi tukiende kwa wagonjwa tunaombe wanapona. Lakini kama hakuna utakatifu Mungu awezi akaruhusu upako uje kwako because you will be wasting. So God knows where to give the anointing. Until you grow, hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor you must grow and be rooted in the word. Amen. Amen. God knows. Yes. He cannot waste because if some of you are the anointing, that is why many of you think like you can cast a person why the government really wants to get the guy Some of you na never you but that you go to the car if the anointing was in some of you would have make you kill those people you are So God cannot waste then your neighbor God cannot waste Amen Amen God cannot waste because because of the kind of authority that operates from your mouth because when you become a believer you walk in authority That is why those of you who have been with me to atare na inwe na bonko ba offended to an extent when the react lakini ongoseka again the actor wanna to walk and i was not given the anointing to west i was given to safe amen i don't mind i don't mind how tough you shout how tough you react but the anointing that operates in me because Those people who have been given the anointing they know the kind of authority that is in their mouth they don't speak and out they don't speak and out so what is the best to do consecration consecration kiamba tabia bangi na mureka kuna maombi mnaomba maombi ya ku ya ya ku stack okay mbona ya zangu iwari i thank god that iko iko bindo busa iko if there is no anointing Consecration is a requirement number one. Kabo go to come as that and you say Tin say everything ma. No rojo mo sajo. You go na rojo sabana mbona sakuru ta ikaga. Nda ke te anye ga di mwa ka magoro ba ka manya ngino mo sombo o cha ka na magoro. O manya ko igubo. Consecration. Hello? Yes. Please greet your people mbia consecration. Consecration. Utakatifu. Utakatifu. Bona Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kama hakuna utakatifu usitegemee sana Utakatifu by the way utakatifu ndio hata ina sustain hata miujiza Muujiza unaweza ukatokea leo hapa kanisani lakini kesho tena ukarudi kwenye maisha yako ya zamani ule muujiza unatoweka maisha yako yanarudi Those are conditions of the kingdom For you to enjoy divine protection For you to enjoy divine prosperity Unaweza kuja hapa leo ushuhudie pasta niniombea last month sikuwa na renti siku hiyo hiyo nikapata renti and you go back to your former life hiyo renti
Christianity inaendelea kukosa. Because God does not channel it to where there is no purity. Those are conditions for enjoying that. You don't expect God to put his power in you. Hautegemei Mungu aweke nguvu zake kwako ili hali maisha yako, mwili wako, roho yako haimtegemei yeye. When God has put the anointing in your life, he does not take it away even if you sin, but he will take it gradually and you will remain empty. The day we get out of purity and begin to enter into illegal practices that are not the kingdom way, God will take it out. When the anointing leaves you, you become frustrated, you become empty, you become a disgrace, you become every kind of thing. So please understand tafadhali elewa tafuta utakatifu kama unataka kuna watu wanakuja hapa anaokoka kabisa kesho baraka inaanza kuingia kesho kutwa amechirudia kwenye nafsi yake ya zamani ile baraka inaanza kuondoka tafuta utakatifu ukiwa kijana mdogo tafuta utakatifu watu wote wanaweza kusoma au kupata kazi lakini mtu anayedumu katika utakatifu ile kazi yake mazao yake ni tofauti na mtu ambaye hadumu katika utakatifu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mnaweza kuwa wafanyi biashara na watu wasio mjua Mungu. Lakini the, the length umbali ambapo biashara yako itakwenda hautakuwa sawa na ule ambaye hana utakatifu. Maana yule mtu mwingine inawezekana era zake zote zinazokuja kwa biashara zinaishia hospitalini lakini kwa sababu wewe umeimpress utakatifu hela zako zinadumu katika biashara zinasaidia mambo ya kwako na unaendelea na biashara ndogo tu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Tafuta nini Hata uponyaji ili uponyaji uendelee kudumu unategemea utakatifu Mtafute sana nini Utakatifu Utakatifu Anybody listen to this can you say amen Amen. Don't allow your mouth to contribute to what you don't understand. You are a believer. The Bible says God will bring every useless spoken word into account. God will not judge us who are not believers the same way he will judge you. By the way, with us who are pastors, we know that the judgment against us will not be equivalent to the judgment against you. We know that. Because the Bible says those of us who have been entrusted with the word will be judged with a lot of strictness. 